M0 FXB Radtail RT880. Let's update the firmware. We've got a new version, which is, it says here, version 1.12. To look up your version, just go menu, and then menu again, green button. Uh, if you want basic settings, so go up until you see version menu, and there it is there. I'm on version 1.10, so it's a bit older. Anyway, so let's hit the download here. Now you do need to work out which is your one, okay? Serial numbers, it's shown here, the different serial numbers. So you need to just work out which serial number you've got and get the late, get the one for your radio. Mine is the G model and it's this bottom one here. Let's see if they've added some new software as well. So CPS here, the latest version is 1.05, which I'm pretty sure that is the one I've got. So I'm going to click the download. You'll see it go up to my download folder just up here because I'm running Chrome and just downloading now. Now, of course, all the links will be in the description. Now we've got our cable connected. I had to make this cable. Some people are saying that the cables that Radtail send them still don't work. So I'll put a link in to the cable I made where you, I basically had to swap the receive and transmit, but hopefully your cable is fine. It's just a USB-C cable just plugged in here, but it does have a CH340 chip at the other end. Yeah, so it's not just the phone you're going to use to charge your, the cable you're going to use to charge your phone. So I've got the virus error that we don't always get, but I have got it here. So let's try and get past it. So we're going to, in the search here, we're going to go Windows, Security, start to search here. Windows. And then it says Security. Click that. OK. Let me just get my radio out of the way so you can see. So like I said, here in this, where it says Search, you start to type Windows. And then you click Security. And this other window opens up on the right-hand side. So fully open the page the radio just keeps getting in the way and go to virus protection and then go to manage settings and and of course turn this back on after let's turn off real-time protection go yes and what else automatic sample trans i think that might be okay We've got here add all removing exclusions. Have a look so we can see anything. Mm, seems all right. So let's go back and try and download it and then we'll try something else. A lot of people do get this problem, including me, as you can see. So we're going to do it again. See if it lets me. Yes, that's worked. Okay, so now let's run it. Got the upgrade there, click more info, run anyway. And now we need to just check our cables connected. And we're, we're not seeing a change log. So anyway, let's just do it. Uh, so we made many, many videos on this. So we're going to go right click where your Windows squares are. Device manager. Go to ports. I'm going to move my radio out of the way again. Ports and it's COM3. Okay, see so yeah, it, COM3. Right, so fingers crossed. You do need to get the radio into firmware mode, so turn it off. Hold down the PTT and turn on. Black screen and green LED. Sorry, it's a bit dark. Like so, not so many, too many gadgets here, you know that. Um, right, COM3. Well, by the way, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, COM3, we're in firmware mode, click update. And cable's in, it's going in. There's always a bit of a delay. So, you know, this, this radio is a fantastic radio. I don't care what anyone says. I've seen the grumblers. And um, I'm going to put in the, the same firmware right now into my iRadio model as well. It's triple receive. It does VHF, UHF, six meters 
70 megs. Yes, you're always going to get the people, oh, yeah, but the spurious emissions. On the bands that I use, the ham radio bands, they're fine. Um, I don't want to use it as CB, but you can use it. Well, no, no. It will function on the CB bands. Whether it's legal or not is another matter. You want to check on that because I wouldn't use it as a CB. I use it as a ham radio um, transceiver for VHF, UHF. I use the HF bands. It's got a nice scope. So, yeah, you can see it's gone in and now we can go menu. Select menu again and then go up version and you're on one point and i've set shortcut button so i can use the scope and you press and hold the hash for two different modes on that one you can hear there's the back button with the orange and then bottom button of course the hf and broadcast frequencies and more if i turn it on and off it says full band, so that means I can put CB, I can put VHF, UHF without having to mess around changing the selection of um, of the multi-band. But if you want it not to do that, where you actually select the whole band range, just turn it off, hold down the down arrow and turn it on. But if yours isn't allowing you to mix and match the frequencies, so just do what I said. Hold the down, on, off, and you'll be multi-band received. Broadcast radio, HF radio. It's fantastic. It's pro I still believe that it's the best budget radio ever made. Let me grab my um my radio model and see if that goes in. This is the Radtel 818. It is the GPS model. Um, what have I got? A shortcut for GPS. Yes. No lock there, um, but it does have GPS. Let me just grab it. The I radio. Right, on this one, the screen is white when you when you um you know do the on off thing but let's just do it update it's all connected same process i might have to just start a new window let's close the window double click run anyway uh, you're not going to get gps and aprs if you haven't got the hardware inside of gps and aprs mm, not really letting me do it that's a shame isn't it uh da, da, da. let me just double check the com device manager normally it'll go in let's just double check the port still com three update uh it could be that it's the older version so what we'll do let's just not give up Shut this down, go to the older version. Um, so that is this version ending in 12A. Download that. Okay, now, of course, the nice thing is with these, you can't really brick them, you just keep trying. Right, this is the older version. Exactly the same process. Older serial number, you know. Three. And it's in the mode, click update. Yes, we have 1.12 and let's just let that finish. So I was, I did get this very early on for my radio and I think I, I'm very pleased that iRadio released this. I know many think, oh, if, if I'd have waited, I'd have got waited for the GPS and the APRS. Yeah, I suppose, but it's good to have two. They're so, such good radios. You put your antenna in the middle there you know, you add your HF wire. I'm sorry it's so dark. And um, you're on the HF bands. Let me see if I can find my antenna. I might end it showing you a bit of HF on the iRadio one. So yeah, I'm gonna change the back screen. See the way that's not in all band mode. So I'll just turn it off, hold down, turn on, keep your finger on it full band mode now you can mix and match it actually changes color didn't it? it went to green did it or not hey let's grab my like so antennas connected press the hf at the bottom is it going to let me so unplug these cables starting radio give it a minute mazzy's here mazzy come uh see the little white arrow there you move it with the star, and we can fine tune.
You can adjust your bandwidth just by pressing this start, moves up. Tuning step. When you've got the arrow next to here, you can change the frequency. If it's here, you're changing channels. You have to preset the channels. You can you can name these yourself where it says 40 meters. And then, you know, if you come out of that, you can put in air band. You can put in CB, you can put in VHF, UHF, six meters, you know, four meters. It's just, come on. It's just anyone that moans about this radio and calls it, I'm not even going to mention the country they mention because that's what country a radio is made is it made in it's got nothing to do with its quality yeah it's the individual companies wherever they are in the world decide the quality of their product not where they were born um so anyway um fantastic radio bargain and the price is coming down a few other companies coming in now hero yasu have got it but it's the same radio um but thank you radtel because their firmware i find their firmware that uh, software's been good. If you go menu, settings. go to extended. Uh, extended, you start to get all the APRS. I will check all that because we need to sort of fine tune the APRS side of things. Now we've actually got a, a GPS lock now as well. And uh, well, that's strange. Maybe that's a manual one, because as far as I know, this one hasn't got GPS. Oh, I know the difference. You can tell. That's a manual GPS, because with the Radtail, you get this little arrow. If you look here, let's go back. No, there is an arrow there, but it's just red. And it says, hmm, I'm interested, but I, my rat. <laughs> my rad, my iRadio is the plus model, so who knows? Maybe. I'll check it more later. Thanks for watching. Sorry, cameras all over the show. Bye for now. Remember to subscribe. Seven three.